Welcome back. It's mid-November. The white bay season on the west coast has closed, but it's still open in Southland until the end of this month. I'm heading down to the wire mouth again to see if we can pick up a feed. Uh, the weather's been a bit rough lately. Uh, it rained most of yesterday. It's still drizzling today. There's new snow on the tops of the mountains. Um, asked Max if he wanted to come with me. He took one look outside and said no. Uh, stopped at the uh, lookout over the Mararoa Weir, which is just south of Lake Manapuri. Um, there was a lot of water going through the weir. The Mararoa River, which flows into the wire there, was in flood. Um, but I checked on the Environment Southland website, and they said at Tuatapri there's about 50 cubics going down the river, uh, down from about 400 within the last 24 hours. So there's been a flood, um, and it's coming down, so we'll go down and see if there's any white bait coming up the river now. Um, I, not too hopeful, but um, if we don't catch any white bait, at least we can go to Tuatapri and pick up some sausages. Well, we're down at the river mouth now. Uh, the river's quite discoloured, there's a bit of water running down it. There's no one else here fishing, uh, except for one guy a bit further up that I was talking to. Um, and he thought he was probably mad to be down here and I was mad to be down here too. But we've come down, it's, uh, it's an hour and a quarter drive from Tianau, so I'm definitely gonna put my net in and see if there's anything around. There's the odd seagull around, um, so we'll see how we go. So I've had one scoop, it doesn't look too promising and there's a lot of eddies in the river because there's so much water coming down it so there's quite a lot on the edge which is flowing back upstream. So there's about a dozen in there. I wouldn't read too much into that, there's probably just a few hanging around in the edges. Um, over the last few days, but we'll see as the tide comes in whether there's going to be any more. This is where we were fishing a couple of weeks ago. You can see there's quite a bit of water running down here now. And it's flowing up into that backwater, going around the corner, and then flowing back out to sea. But the rain stopped, and the sun has come out, which is good because my hands are frozen. Shoal. Uh, before that had been sixes and twelves, maybe twenty. So we're just keeping an eye on that little strip of gravel there that we drove along. Uh, the tide's coming quite a bit and it's getting quite narrow so we might actually have to pack up and leave shortly which is a bit unfortunate. Another 
scoop. Another know, quarter of a cup, maybe a bit less. So we just had a wave come in, it's getting pretty close to the truck. We're gonna have one more scoop, then we're gonna pack it up and head out and we can stream it. Not too many in that one. Uh, we'll pack up now and head out while we can, but we will get back down to the wire mouth and have another crack at the white bait before the season finishes. So I did have one more scoop in the end just because I could. Um, we got four smelt and one white bait, so yeah, it's done. Um, I've driven up the estuary a wee bit, probably a kilometre or so to a creek um, that I used to fish in nearly 30 years ago when I was a teenager um, with a net that was probably two foot around. And we caught a pound and a half. I came down here with my younger cousin Jason one day. We caught a pound and a half just in this little creek. So I had a scoop just while we're here uh, to see if anything was around. We caught two through them back. Now we'll clean up the bait and head away. So it's a week later, we're back down at the Wire River mouth. Um, it's about 6.20 in the morning, the sun's just coming up. Um, we've just driven to where we park. Um, there's still a little bit of current in the river, um, but it's a lot lower than it was last weekend. There's a few people down here. We've passed three or four people that are setting up their set nets. Um, there's one guy down at the surf with a scoop net. Um, so we'll get out, put the net together and have a go. We've had our first scoop, um, just doing the edges, you would normally pick up a few if you're the first one down. We got probably five or six dozen, so it wasn't too bad. Um, the scooping areas around here are not that great at the moment, there's a lot of eddies um, and back currents, so we might just shoot around this little lagoon here and onto the other side and just scoop that bank where that grass is growing and see how we go.
lot of eddies over there too, not really that good. Went around the corner and got three smelt. I don't think we picked up any white bait, so not too much around. We come back to where we started and had another short dragon, got a dozen or so. Um, the sand flies are really going for it here, so I hope the wind comes up soon. That was the last scoop. These sand flies are getting really hungry. Well, the river seems to be getting dirtier as the tide comes in. Um, I'm not quite sure why. There hasn't been that much rain over the last couple of days. We're picking up a couple of dozen a scoop. Um, there's not too much action around us with other white baiters. There's a couple of guys down at the front scooping. Um, there's a few people set nets behind us. The tide's coming in a bit now. It's getting a bit less easier to have a good drag. There's lots of shallow water probably give it a couple more and then we'll probably call it quits for the season. That's it. It's six days until the end of the season, so we won't be back. Um, we have five days up on the west coast. We've got four and a half kilograms, 10 pounds. We had our first trip down to Wyomouth probably three weeks ago now. Picked up another kilo there. Um, last weekend, came back, got 180 grams, not so good. And uh, today, there's a few more in the bucket than I expected when we cleaned them up, but I reckon there might be 120, maybe 140 grams there. So it is tapering off at the end of the season. Uh, we'll try and get back again early next year, um, maybe at the end of August, again in September, before we head back up to the west coast.